Meanwhile, Friday's suspension of the central bank governor, Godwin Emefiele, climaxes years of a frosty relationship between him and the House of Representatives. In this report, our correspondent, Joke Adisa, looks at the many probes of the CBN governor during Godwin Emefiele's nine-year reign at the helm of the country's Apex Bank. Godwin Emefiele is no stranger to controversy. Since his appointment by former President Gulob Jonathan in 2014, he has gone through so many controversies with the National Assembly in the House of Representatives. The Central Bank of Nigeria has been instrumental to many probes carried out almost on a daily basis. In all of the probes, Godwin Emefiele seldom honored a lawmaker's invitations. Ogene Ego was a member of the Eighth and the Ninth National Assembly. For Tinubu to take this action, we must commit Tinubu. This is what we want so that the country can move forward. Look at Ebefile all his years. Look at the budget. He sells dollar officially at four and something uh, above 400 uh, naira to a dollar. And then at the black budget, is several and something. He shares with me his experience as a committee member inviting the CBN governor. God. I remember in the 8th Assembly, when we had a committee probing the money that was given by CBN to uh, various uh, uh, companies, you know, to do manufacturing of vehicles, assembly, etc., etc. We invited Mifili, several never came. When we also looked at uh, vehicle manufacturing, we are thinking about how you know, can we manufacture vehicles to create jobs and to reduce foreign exchange uh, wastages? We invited Bayfield, Bayfield refused to call. In December 2022, the House Committee on Public Accounts recommended to the House the arrest of Godwin and Mayfield and 53 other heads of ministries, departments, and agencies of government to compel their parents before it. The committee investigated the compliance level of ministries, departments, and agencies of the federal government to audit reports and found out that the CBN failed to have its accounts audited by the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation over the years. The hue and cry generated by the introduction of the new Naira nodes also pitched the suspended CBN governor against the legislators. Four times he was invited to brief the parliament on the crisis generated by the policy. Four times he failed to appear. A threat by then speaker Femi Bajabia Miller to invoke provisions of section 89 of section one of the constitution finally forced Godwin Mifeli to make himself available. The just concluded probe into the alleged theft of 48 million barrels of crude was also a case in point. Godwin Mifeli was invited to give account of about 32.5 billion naira said to have been paid to two companies without records or any form of documentation. For two months that the committee sat, Godwin Emefiele failed to appear before it. We're looking for a successor who shares the same vision with Mr. President Wan. A successor who is interested in the growth of the economy, who wants to look at figures to say, Hey, when I came in a year or two ago, this was inflation rate, inflation disease. Its nine year stint at Nigeria's Apex Bank will go down in history as the most eventful and controversial, especially with its political ambition and desire to lead Nigeria. Indeed, Nigerians, particularly those who lost loved ones in the crisis that followed the scarcity of the new Naira notes, will be glad to see the exit of Godwin Emefiele from the Central Bank of Nigeria as they continue the search for justice. Joke Edsa, TVC News, Abuja.